age-related macular degeneration. Reversible? Well, at least in this animal model, the answer to that question appears to be yes. In fact, let's just go read the re uh, line from the abstract right off the bat, just so you know I'm not embellishing what the research discovered. Researchers said as follows, quote in the abstract, critically switching from the high glycemic to low glycemic diet late in life, arrested or reversed AMD. Reversed or arrested are their words. So let's go right into the public citation. So we could look a little bit more deeper into this research as follows, and we'll go into study parameters as well. Switching to a low glycemic diet may stop age-related eye disease, studies suggest. A study in mice finds the development of age-related macular degeneration could be arrested by switching from a high glycemic diet to a low glycemic. With that in mind, let's go right into the citation as follows. Involvement of a gut retina access in protection against dietary glycemia induced age-related macular degeneration. Yeah, you heard that part right, gut retina access. They discovered that something happened when they went from a high glycemic diet to a low glycemic diet, which changed the composition of the gut bacteria from a form of, or in the high glycemic diet, which tend to uh, encourage a nasty form of bacteria to be a little higher and potentially have impact in the eyes to a low glycemic diet, which may, or I should say, help develop a more favorable environment of good bacteria that happen to benefit the eyes. Henceforth, gut retina access. But for this point, we're just gonna stick with the dietary part, high glycemic, low glycemic. The abstract goes into a little bit greater detail on the hypothesis why that gut bacteria may have strong impact on your eye health. And it goes as follows. Study participants and methods use an age mouse model. The researcher randomized 59 mice in two groups, 19 low glycemic fed mice and 40 high glycemic fed mice. The diets differed only in carbohydrate source. Carbohydrates comprise 50, about 50, 45% of the diet in both cases. To go to a more interesting aspect of that, because there's hope, even for people that have AMD, if this animal study correlates or works out to be the same in humans. After six months, midway through the study, the high glycemic group of mice either remained on the high glycemic diet or were switched to the low glycemic diet. Results in regards to that end up being fascinating. Results. The researcher observed that a high glycemic diet resulted in development of many AMD features. So is AMD really an age thing or just what happens when you eat a poor diet for a long period of time? Including loss of function of cells in the back of the eye called retinal pigmented epithelial atrophy, otherwise known as RPE, and of the cells that capture light called photoreceptors, precursors to dry AMD. Critically, not to requote what we said in the abstract, critically, switching from the high glycemic to the low glycemic diet late in life, arrested or reversed AMD. Direct quote from the researchers. The researchers identified, as a special note, several other metabolites that were associated with protection from AMD and with the composition of the gut microbiome, which together led the authors to speculate on potential gut retina access that may communicate diet to eye health. That's a hypothesis that needs to be worked out in future studies. But to conclude, and to quote directly from what the researchers said, because they said it best, it goes as follows, researchers state, we were genuinely surprised that the retinas from mice whose diet were switched from high to low glycemic index diets midway through the study were indistinguishable from those fed a low glycemic diet throughout the study. Meaning all the damage that was done from a high glycemic diet to the eye over six months seemed to be reversed altogether just by switching to a low glycemic diet in the remainder of the study. That is fascinating, meaning there's something going on where the body is capable of self-repair, giving the right stimuli. All right, as follows, we had not anticipated that dietary change might repair the accumulated damage in the retinal pigmented epithelial so effectively. Our experiment results suggest from that switching from a high glycemic diet to a low glycemic one is beneficial to eye health in people that are heading towards developing AMD. 
that's just totally fascinating, where something just as simple as dietary changes and alterations, at least in regard to this animal model, if it basically translated to human models, can reverse such an epidemic, epidemic of eye disease. I hope you find this information of use. Again, it was not low carbohydrate. That may work as well. Don't know. All I got to do is stick with the study parameters here, which basically work with low glycemic. Again, hope you find this study of use. Very intriguing. I hope they bring this to human trials. In any case, it is information highly worthy of note. Look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. And thank you, thank you very much for listening, as always. Catch you then. Bye.